sound. We can hear various kinds of sounds around us. Some sounds, such as those in a road traffic, are loud and noisy, while some sounds, such as that of some songs, are pleasant. How does a sound reach our ears? How are different kinds of sounds produced? Put some dust on the stretched skin of a drum. Now, strike the drum's skin. Notice the sound and the jumping of the dust particles. This shows that the skin of the drum moves up and down about its resting position. This movement is so fast that it is very difficult to notice. We use the term oscillation to refer to a to and fro movement of an object. This rapid back and forth movement of the skin that produces sound is called vibration. Like the dust particles, the air molecules adjacent to the vibrating skin also start moving back and forth about their mean position. This causes the neighboring air molecules to oscillate. This process goes on until finally the air molecules next to the ear and the eardrum inside the ear oscillate back and forth. The eardrum is a stretched membrane which then vibrates. The signal is transferred to the brain by the auditory nerves which then perceives it as a sound. Like the vibration of the skin of a drum, the vibration of a stretched metal string of a violin too produces sound. The sound that comes from a flute and other wind instruments is produced by the vibrations of the air column inside them. The quality of the sound produced by these instruments can be changed by changing the length and thickness of the strings and air columns respectively. If the molecules are closer to each other, then sound will travel faster. In liquids, the molecules are closer to each other than in the gases. In the solids, the molecules are tightly packed as compared to gases and liquids. Thus, sound travels fastest in the solids. Where there are no molecules, the vibrations cannot travel. Therefore, Sound cannot be heard in a vacuum. Now let us see what makes a sound loud or noisy or pleasant. The vibrations or oscillations have certain characteristics. The maximum distance an object travels from its mean position is called amplitude. When you strike the skin of a drum harder, the more the distance the skin moves about the mean position. The sound is loud and travels a longer distance. Thus, more the amplitude of vibration, the louder is the sound. Another characteristic of vibration is the number of to and fro motions in one second, which is called the frequency of vibration. The human ear can hear sounds within the frequency range of about 20 Hz up to 20,000 Hz. The sound produced by the vibration of a certain frequency can be different for different objects. It is because objects also generate sounds of different frequencies along with a certain frequency. The basic sound of a certain frequency is called the fundamental frequency. The other frequencies are called the harmonics. The frequencies of the harmonics are whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency. So even if the fundamental frequency is the same for two instruments, the harmonics will be different and hence the quality of the sound will be different. Hence, if the sound of the same note is played on a piano or a guitar, the sound produced will be different because of the differences in the harmonics.